Shut them all. I'd like to give all praise and glory to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, and great men, Lord. Which must word of truth and necessary. Shout the word to the Akim that scattered through the four corners of the glory. Which must word of truth and necessary. And shout the word to the Akim that be not come to the spoken bird. Which must word of truth and necessary. I say shout the word to y'all. And the title of this lesson is going to be, you know, Israel is a uh, set apart people. You know, the true Israelites are a uh, uh, holy people, a uh, separate people. And this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6, King James Version through the Holy Scriptures. And it reads, For thou art the holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all nations that are upon the face of the earth. Right, you know, uh, we, we are a holy people, a set apart people. Because you look up the word holy, the true meaning of it. Because holy means separate, you know, or se separate, set apart people. And the true children of Israel are supposed to be a set apart holy people unto himself, you know. And we are above all nations that are upon the face of the earth. You know, this is not uh, according to my understanding. This is not according to me. This is according to my, the understanding through the scriptures. You know, because the Most High, you know, he set that up. You know, not me. <clears throat> not me or the Akim or anything like that. You know, the Most High set this up according to the Holy Scriptures. That, you know, Israel is above all people. You know. And the other nations are nothing, are as nothing to the Most High. You know, so the Most High chose a Pacific people unto himself, which is above all nations, as the scripture reads. Because, you know, even though we're not acting like a uh, holy people or set apart people, because, you know, we want to join in unto the other nations, having, uh, having a, a family with the other nation, try to fit in with the other nations, you know, our men and women, you know. You know, we really supposed to be, supposed to be dealing with our own tribes, you know, which is the 12 tribes in Israel, which is the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the Speckle Birds of us as well, too. You know, that's why the Most High has us as a separate and holy people. You know, we supposed to be a holy people because uh, we're not being a holy people right now because of our transgressions, you know, in our wickedness we've been doing in our transgression as a people. That's why the most high have been jacking us up like this. You know, I mean don't get me wrong, the most high jack up the other nations as well too. You know, the most high right now he chastising his people. You know. And a lot of Israelites ain't gonna make it because the scripture says two thirds of Israel are gonna get cut off. You know, and one third of Israel are gonna be saved. So you know the most high, you know, he's only looking for a remnant of his people. Because two thirds of his people is going to get cut off and continually on to this day, you know. For the wickedness for our forefathers and did. And it been passed down down to generations as well too, you know, for our transgressions. You know, for our wickedness, our evil doings as we continue to do it as well too. And I'm gonna read it again. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter seven, verse six. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So we above the Moabites, which is the so called Chinese modern day today. We are above the so called Ammonites, which is the so called Japanese. We are above the Edomites, which is the so-called modern-day Caucasian people today. We're, so, we're above the so-called Amalekites, which is the Jewish people today, modern-day. You know, the Ishmaelites, which is the so-called Arabs, because Arabs, you know, they have mixed multitude, you know. We're above them. Elam, the so-called East Indians, we're above them as well, too. The Japheth, which is the Samoans and Tongans, you know. The Philippines and all them, the Japhites. Don't get me wrong, you got Israelites scattered among all the nations. But you know, the most I chose that Pacific people that's above all people. And we supposed to be that holy set apart people, like how the most I set it up.
but you know, for our evil doing and our transgressions, because you know, the most high jacked us up. And it reads Deuteronomy 28 and 54, Deuteronomy 28 28, you know. He should smite thee with madness and blindness, you know, and that's what's going on right now with two thirds of Israel. You know, it should smite thee with madness and blindness, you know. So if we can get back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, you know, just like uh, the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 7, verse 14, you know, the Most High, you know, He'll be with us again, you know, if we turn from our wicked ways, you know, and get back to righteousness, you know, He won't turn His back on us and He'll start to enlighten us and be more focused back on us again, you know, because the Most High haven't cast away his people yet, you know, because he having us going through these curses, because he's put these curses on us, you know, we uh, lost our identity, you know, everything is stripped away from us, because our evil doing our transgressions, as I mentioned before, and then you got these other nations ruling over us, ruling over us in our communities, you know, we've been astonishment in the proverb and the Bible amongst all people. You know, these nations lift up the head that hate thee, you know, hate your towards one another, killing one another, hate one another, despising one another. So, you know, these curses are heavy on us. But the most high putting these curses on our enemies as well, too. Not only, you know, the Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father uh, Salakia, he putting heavy judgment on us for our transgressions and everything. But he put the uh, curses on our enemies as well, too. You know, the Heavenly Father, he's a just balance. He created the good and the evil and the in-between as well, too, because he's the creator of all everything. Because the Heavenly Father, uh, true name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, in the ancient Hebrew. You know, Paleo Hebrew. You know, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. You know, those are the true names of the Heavenly Father. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai. He ignorantly called Jesus Christ, which is Yahweh Shai, is the true name. So, you know, uh, back to the topic at hand, you know, we're supposed to be a set apart people, a holy people. The true Israelites, according to the scriptures, which is the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, we're supposed to be the holy, set apart people, a royal priesthood, you know. The daughters of Zion, you know, and the, the children of Israel, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know. You know, we're supposed to be the holy, holy people, that set apart people, that wise and understanding people, you know to be influenced by the other nations. You know, they supposed to look at us as a righteous people, you know, a holy people, a knowledgeable people, you know. Well, you know, the world world is not seeing us like that, you know. They see us as thugs, savages, criminals, you know. Because the Lord, well, he's gonna change all that way when the kingdom of heaven will be established here on the earth. You know, because Jacob's rulership is coming. But once all these things need to come to pass, just like it says uh, in the scriptures, he that endures to the end shall be saved, you know. And Lord willing, that the Heavenly Father continue to be with us, you know, with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that he given us this. And with the humbleness, meekness, and sincerely, you know, and this blessing that he give us uh, our heritage back, you know, the Holy Bible back, you know and fighting for our salvation and we thank the most high for can continue to let us fight for our salvation you know and and fight for the uh, 144,000 of each of the 12 tribes of Israel and Lord willing we continue to fight and be part of that, that elect and be part of that 144 we get beamed up in the chariots Lord willing you know and join heirs with have a shot King Yahushua, which is uh, Yahushua, who you even call Jesus Christ, the Heavenly Father, Son, Yahushua, you know, and hopefully one day, Lord willing, we can join heirs with him and be, be in that number, that 144, you know. So, you know, this was, I uh, hope this was edifying through the spirit of power, Yahushua, 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 
And for the new listeners out there, again, I repeat, the true Israelites was the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled bird Israelites as well, too. They make up the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And the Heavenly Father's true name is Yahweh, and His Son is Yahweh Shai, who we ignorant call Jesus Christ, which is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew. So, you know, I, this was on my mind through the Spirit, you know, so I just wanted to do a quick sit down lesson through the will of the power of Yahweh and His Son, Yahweh Shai. And with that, I would like to give all praise and glory to, to Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai, Hashem Rekakadash. Double honors to the elders of Apostle Gray Millstone, Christian Swerve, Truthfully and Sincerely. Shout out to the Akim that's got through the four corners of the globe, Christian Swerve, Truthfully and Sincerely. Shout out to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, Christian Swerve, Truthfully and Sincerely. And with that, till next time, I will say shout out.